So I wanted to go over this relay because it is a different beast compared to the anything else I've ever seen. And uh, I had to actually go in and do some research and uh, with Ford and the workshop manuals and all that and our PCED to see exactly how the system works and why it is so complicated and why is all these extra wires on here. So I'm going to go over each one of these terminals and how the system basically works so that it makes it very simple in layman's terms to you and you can diagnose and make sure this is or is not your problem. So like usually you get your big fat terminal over here and that one has a big fat red wire on it and that's for all your high current amperage to feed the actual glow plugs. So that's constantly hot 12 volts. Um, and this side is the output side of the relay that feeds your glow plugs and it goes through this ribbon type deal here and I believe it has something to do with the uh, resistance measuring system that they use to check the temperature of the glow plugs because it's a positive temperature coefficient system so basically as the, re the temperature of the glow plugs go up the resistance goes up so it basically knows how hot they are based on the resistance and that's why this system basically will flip out if the resistance is off by any amount and it will start clicking instead of just latching so there's a wire here and there's another one right there and those both go to this module and they are I believe for that that resistance measuring system they got so those are internal to that and then this one right here will be you'll have an eyelid on here with two wires coming out of about 10 12 gauge and that's going to each bank to feed your glow plugs that's the output this wire right here this purplish wire that one goes out and turns on your wait to start lamp so this one don't even wor worry about that one that's not going to affect your glow plug uh, relay and the glow plug operation at all it's just to turn that lamp on for you and this one is a good solid ground so the module has a good solid ground to work with uh, for its own microprocessor in there and all that stuff and uh, so that goes onto the stud on the intake manifold and that provides a good ground so that should have a ground and then this wire goes down and feeds that relay also and that gives it power and to to do its work um, for its timer and all that stuff for all the electronics inside of here and it also wakes up this module and starts the timer so that it, it goes on for this certain amount of time um, based on when it's activated by this wire so this one will be a good size wire uh, 14 gauge maybe a little bit thicker wire and uh, this one will be hot only in run and in start position of the ignition switch and that'll wake it up and then when all everything's just peachy keen on here and the resistances are right and everything else the this little module will send out a ground to this white wire over here and it will actually you know activate it at that point because this one's going to be always hot so this is the only thing that's the making it go on and off is the ground on this side and that will latch these two internally to here so it is a, a weirdo freaking system uh, from what I've read the solid state part really doesn't go bad they don't burn out nothing like that it's all kind of low uh, low current type stuff whereas this is still a high current uh, really that, that that's can you know burn out over time the contacts in there from the initial uh, current draw and all that stuff so I watched, just wanted to go over it and uh, explain it and how it works and so that you have an idea it looks like a it looks like something out of Frankenstein I don't know uh, and that way you know how to test it and you know if this is good or not and then you can go on to your glow plugs and your harness for the glow plugs themselves.